Did you have sex with Carly the night you took Michael to the Institute? Yeah. You know, I went to uh, all the trouble to ask for separation, trying to figure out a way to save our marriage, but it was already over. Jax, don't say that. Please don't say that. You slept with Sonny. At least once that I know. It was only that one time. Oh, well. <laughs> At Jack. least you uh, didn't add insult by denying it. Don't walk away and don't tell me our marriage is over. Sorry. I never, I never wanted you to know. A lie is a really bad way to start a marriage. It happened once in an in, in extreme circumstance. According to everyone else, it's routine behavior it's not, for you. Okay. And Carly. It's not going to happen again, I promise you. I regret what happened. It will never happen Why again. Why should I trust you? Because! We started to talk about Michael, his hopes, his dreams. She started to cry. One thing led to, led to another. What about me? person you swore that you loved. What about me? Did I even cross your mind? The pain was unbearable. And it just happened. If I had been thinking about you, I wouldn't have done it. Oh. There is my answer. Carly overwhelms everything. That's in not your true. Life. I had, you know, I. I'm not trying to justify or, 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 you know, make an excuse for what I did. I'm just trying to tell you what happened. That there was a lot of things going on at that time. Things were coming down on me. Carly and I, you know, it's like I hate what happened. And afterwards, you know. We, we, we both knew it was a mistake. And true to form, like Carly, she, right after, you know, she hands me this document to, to, so I would sign over my kids. Wait, Carly had sex with you so that you would sign over your kids? No, no, part of you knew that this was going to happen. I swear to you, I didn't. I can't believe it. I mean, you came home to me that night. I was so happy to see you. We made love. Oh. We had sex, to be more accurate. Right? When you went, you went straight from Sunny to me. How, how could you do that to me? Wow, I really didn't think I could like her any less. Okay, first of all, we, we, we were both wrong. When she pulled out those papers, I, I was fierce, and I told her, I said, you know what? You're using sex to get me to give up my kids. But the truth is that, you know, the, the, the sex came out of pain and grief. And afterwards, we both regretted it. And I, and I got to tell you, I felt like for the first for the first time in a long time, I realized how destructive we are. And the reason I didn't tell you was because I didn't want to hurt you. Because it didn't matter. It still doesn't matter. Nothing's changed. You still want to marry me? what happened with Sonny the second it was over when I came home I ran straight for the shower because I just wanted to wash it off me and make it go away and then when I came out of the bathroom you were there and I needed you I couldn't tell you what happened because I just lost my oldest son. I couldn't lose you, too. So when you reached out to me, I held on to you, Jax, because you're my husband, and I love you. 
And afterwards, you got out of bed and you left me sleeping. To do what? Hmm? Did you go back to Sunny? No, no. I went to Jason because I, I felt guilty and I had to talk to someone about it. And I couldn't talk to you because I couldn't risk losing you. Wow. And all within a few hours. Let me ask you this. If you'd gotten pregnant and Sonny was the father, which you've ever told me, that's why he was so reluctant to take a pregnancy test on. That's why he kept putting it off. Because you slept with both of us. You know, Sonny even told me if, if you were pregnant that I should take a paternity test. I mean, I must have been in complete denial because he basically told me that he slept with you. He was being petty and cruel. No, he was being honest. And if the baby had been mine, would you have told me anything at all? I love you. I love you and I didn't want this to happen and I didn't want to hurt you the way that I'm hurting you right now. Well, I should have thought about that before you slept with Sonny. Maybe you think that you can still marry me. And you can still continue this bond with Carly. There is no bond with Carly. Do you have any yes. idea how many people warned me, Sonny? Do you? And I chose not to believe them. And now I'm the fool. It doesn't matter how much regret you and Carly have or how much pain you have caused yourself or other people. You and Carly will never be over. Give up on me. Look at my eyes and you swear to me, you swear to me that you can never go back to Carly. Can you do that? I swear to you. I can't believe you, Sonny. I can't. What happened between me and Sonny was wrong. As soon as it was over, I knew I'd made such a terrible mistake. Yeah, and I made a mistake that night, too. I kissed Kate, and when you found out about it, you accused me of betrayal, and you just slept with your ex. I hated that you kissed Kate, and regardless of how guilty I feel about Sonny, I still hate it. Oh. Do you not see the hypocrisy? Or am I just supposed to say, oh, it's just Carly's quirky way of dealing with things? No, but you're not. You're not. I mean, Sonny never looked at this marriage as, as real. I mean, you always think he thinks you're his and always will be his. I'm not talking about Sonny. No, we are. We're talking about Sonny and that he always takes you whenever he just feels like it and you allow him to do that. And that is why we have nothing left. We just found our way back to each other. What are you talking about? That was all based on a lie. No, right? it's not. It's not a lie that I love you. And I know you love me, Jackson. We belong together. Yes, I love you. Probably always will. But I have tried every way I know how to make this work. But I, I don't know how to be married to you. I, I don't know what you want from me. I want you to forgive me. I want you to believe that I made a terrible mistake and I will never, ever make another from the moment that you told me you loved me, I I knew the day was going to come that I was going to do something so huge and so terrible that you would walk away. I'm begging you not to, please. Don't leave, Jax. Love me enough to get past this. Be the one that won't leave. Okay.